dun 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 so I'm gonna go over the system real fast. Here you got the 8,005. So today it's your last time, your final time of seeing the 8,005 on the system. So um, take a look at this. This is the last time you're seeing the 8,005 on the wall or on the. This is the last time you're seeing the 8,005 on this system test. So right now, um. The alarms we've got up, we've got, it's the, um, Simplex 405080 with the Simplex bell, and I'm using bells in this system instead of horns, and I'm also on the phone with Fire Alarm 500, so, um, basically he's just got a few minutes, so he has to go in a moment, not really, I can still stay around here at home, yeah, something like that. So, let's go over the system. We have the Chevron in my room. Yeah, pretty cool. So, uh, right now, um, thank you. Bye. Okay, so, right now, um, in the living room, uh, we've got, uh, let me tighten this up. We've got the 4151-20, um, the Simplex T-Bar pull station. This was, you. this used to be in my room, but I moved it in here. So the alarm, um, this alarm was actually homemade. It's a strobe plate that I made last night with some plexiglass and I painted it red. I used part of a Wheelock strobe on it. Yep, homemade alert tech strobe plate. And it's also got on top the Potter PBA. 41.6 bell on top of it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, in the basement, um, all the other bells are 24 volts, but this one is 12 volts because I've got the Edwards bell. This is kind of loose. I have to fix it. And then, in the shop, we've got the EST Siga. Um... Well, the weather's kind of chilly outside, so I'm not going to go outside. So, um, the alarms in the garage are still the same. The BG-10 and the Wheelock horn. Yeah, I didn't have any bell to put out there. If I did, I would. So, but I did not. So I left the horn, the only Wheelock horn in the system in the garage, rather. So, right now... The signal coding is currently set on to March time. So here we go. Loud. It's rather sunny outside. So this is nearly a bell test. Let me go over some snow. Okay, there we go. So right now let's reset the pull station. Come on. I was like, wow, loud. Yeah, I remember that. Like how I spelled it was L L L O O O U U D D D. Yeah, I remember that. Now reset the panel. E. Okay, now let's change the signal coding to code four four. There we go. 
Now let's do the simplex 4151-20. So, um, right now, let's go in the living room and test the 4151-20. I got the key right here. I'm going to keep it here. So, right now, um, if anyone knows the model on this one, like, uh, Okay, now let's reset the panel. E now let's test the 270 SPO. Um, it's actually called the DPO, that's how I call it. So basically, um, the, the screw that holds it shut, it's busted. So here we go. Okay, there we go. So, actually, uh, the 8005 doesn't do code 3. Well, the 8005 has got a bad memory. So, right now, let's set the coding signal onto continuous. Onto the bell continuous, the continuous bell. There we go. So, right now, let's pull the EST SIGA. I don't have the key for it, dang it. Oh, the key's on the table. Okay, so now let's head in the basement. Okay, here we are at the shop. Lift and pull for fire. Up, <laughs> oh, sports is over, but the sports center bell's going crazy. <laughs> strike enough but it doesn't actually strike the bell enough like wow like continuous is like it's like it's not striking it off, like it's not hitting the gong that much. Yeah, the bell's not, it looks like it's non striking. It's not hitting the gong that much. Yeah, I remember that. So, right now, uh, the last pull station we're gonna do is what? The BG10. Yes. Okay, so, this is the last pull station we're gonna do in the system. It's the BG10 in the garage. Well, sorry I don't have any bell to put in the garage. If I did, I would, actually. So, what do you guys think the new panel is going to be? Um, I think Firelight, what? Firelight, Firelight sucks. Um, what do you think is going to be the new panel? I think, uh, uh, what? What do you think? Uh, 4004? Yeah, like, uh, JJ and C24 has. Yeah, so, here we go. Wow, you see that? The 8005 has got a bad memory. It goes back to March time. The signal coding so it it goes back to March time the 8005 has got actually a bad memory e here we go thank you for watching this was system test 29 okay see you guys later